Hey friends, this is Lydia with Applique Market. Today I'm working in Embird. Um, it's an embroidery file editor. And I wanted to show you how to create a name um, out of a script text or a cursive text. Uh, we have several at appliquemarket.com, um, but I wanted to show you specifically Samantha font today. So let's get started and open our files. Um, let me go back one step. If you can look here in the open files box, you can see that the Samantha font comes in five different sizes, the 0.75 inch, one, one and a half, two, and then it comes in a three inch capitals. Um, and that is great for making a monogram. And I'll show you that later. Um, it also comes in bonus frames with bonus frames and um, you can mix and match different sizes with the sizes of the alphabet to create some really pretty things. Um, okay, so let's go back to the alphabet. I'm going to do a one and a half inch just so you can see it. Um, we offer it in all file formats. I have a brother embroidery machine, so I typically use PES or DST. Um, typically, my preference is PES. So once you come over here and see all of the numbers, and then you can see the capital and the lowercase letters. So I am going to do a simple name, um, and I'm going to select all of the letters of the name at one time. And how you go about doing this is click on the letters that you want, and hold down the control key on your keyboard at the same time. So I'm going to do the name Emily. I've selected the capital E and I'll select the lowercase M, I, L, and the Y. Press OK. And you can see it brings everything to the middle. Um, this white gridded area is my uh, stitch area within the um, hoop I've selected. And um, so I'm going to take all of the letter files and just space them out so I can see everything that I've imported into the screen. Um, what I'm going to do is use this horizontal axis, this dotted line in the middle, as sort of a reference point to line up my letters um, properly. So I'm going to start with the E and put it on the horizontal line. We'll click on the M and bring it over, again lining it up on this horizontal line. And then you really start to see how it's coming together as a script um, or a cursive font. The way that you make this look like it's actually connected when we know it's not because it's separate files, barely overlap it. So I've got my eye lined up on this horizontal line, and then I've just barely overlapped it on the tail of the M. I'll do the same thing with the L. Again, lining up the bottom of it on my horizontal line, and I've overlapped it just enough so that the tail of the eye looks like it's flowing right into the loop of the L. And again, same thing with the Y. Line that up on the horizontal line and bring it over where it just barely overlaps. Okay, so it looks like it's flowing. Um, everything's going to stitch just fine. To double check it, um, you know, you always work in the stitches tab down here. And then if you want to preview it, you can go to the one-to-one um, -one mat and um, just zoom in and you can see how it's going to stitch out really nicely. Um, it looks like my M, the tail of my M is going to stitch on top of the I. So let's change the order of that. Click on the M and pressing your left mouse button just move it up to the second place and it will ask you um, to pick one of these options in a drop-down menu. I'm just going to select Insert Before Object. 
and that will put it in the correct order. So you see how once I moved it from lower in the lineup to the second letter, it placed it under the I, so it looks like it's all still flowing the way it should be, as if you had written it with a pen. Um, you can also click on just one-to-one, -one and you can see um, it gives it a little bit of a shine, like as as you would see if you were looking at an actual stitch out. So that's nice sometimes when you want to take a screenshot and send it to customers. Um, okay, so we've got Emily created. And um, typically what I do is holding down the control key again, I'm going to drag a box around the entire name, let, let the control key go, and then click again, control plus I. And this, um, sorry, my program does that every now and then. It is not supposed to do that. <laughs> All right, control plus I, and you see how it brings it up here into one file. Um, so if you want to change the color just to preview how it would look on your screen, um, you can do that. It changes the entire thing. Um, just again, um, when you bring it into one file, um, you can click one time and it, you can move the entire um, name instead of having to click individually on each letter and move it. That is the beauty of the control plus I trick. So I'm just gonna center it in my hoop and you file, go to file, save as, and um, make sure your, your preferred file format is selected. Press okay and you're ready to go. Hope this helps.